I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but welcome back to Phoenix Rising. This video is gonna be a trigger warning. It may make some people angry. Over the last six months, I have a story to tell, and there's two sides to every story. And if you guys are seeing this video, it means I had enough courage to post it. Just like my letter to my abuser, Jonathan, this channel, I started as a venting, ranting channel. And I have so much stuff to talk about in this video, and I don't even know if I'm gonna get to it all. But I feel like my viewers, all 50 something of you, I owe it to you guys to at least tell you why I haven't been posting, why things ain't been like they were when they started. Where's the 10,000 steps video? It all started, as you all know, as you guys might not have known, I was married for about 10 years. Fell in love with this girl, 23 year old me, 19 year old her, and the fire that was inside us raged hardcore. We were inseparable. And we got married a few years later, you know, things were going good. For those of you who know my backstory, I have started over in life six times roughly I've come from nothing homeless on the street nowhere to go that's part of my childhood story that I've been struggling with to be upfront and honest hey, that only gets you so far long story short me and this girl my wife I'm not gonna put names on blast because that's not fair to people this is my own personal side of this story but I have to speak the truth, my truth. I love this girl with everything I had. I gave it my all, day in and day out. I sacrificed so much. I gave her my heart. She promised me she would never break it. And here we are 10 years later, 2021. 10 years almost to the day that we started going out. I literally thought this girl was my forever. You know, it's weird in life how things just blindside you and you don't even see them coming. This goes to show you never need to get too comfortable in life because that's when things go wrong. Don't take your relationships for granted. Don't take your wife or husband for granted because one day they may not be there whether they pass away or get fed up and leave. Starting in January of last year, February about the time COVID started, I didn't know it at the time, but I ended up starting into a dark, deep depression. They got worse every single day. Wanted to end my life multiple times. Didn't understand why there was this point to living. And about the same time, one of my daughters came to me and asked me, she said, Dad, What's the point of living if we're all gonna die? And I didn't know how to answer that question because in truth, I don't know how to answer that question. I just told her, you know, you gotta find the good moments in life. And But when you're depressed like that, there are no good moments in life. You start to pull away from things you care about. You start to become someone inside. You chase your demons. They light you up like the 4th of July. And I've lived a hard life. And that's not an excuse. It really isn't. Everyone's responsible for their own actions. You can't make anyone love you. You can't. I mean, it is what it is. This thing called life is so fragile, guys. It could literally be gone at any moment. And I gave this life 10 years of my life. I'm never gonna get back. I jumped through hoops for this girl. And it's funny because I always thought that she would be the death of me. I told her that in the beginning of our relationship that <laughs> I said, you got like a spell on me or something. We always had problems. The relationship was very toxic, but I just stayed. We both did. We loved each other. But at the end of the day, it never felt right. It kind of felt cliche and fake. I started to finally get it. 
I got a life that I wanted. You know, the American dream. And giving that all up wasn't worth it. I stopped caring. I checked out of the marriage due to my depression, amongst other things. And it wasn't fair to her because she kept trying and trying and trying. But I just wouldn't listen. See, sometimes I get stuck in my ways, guys. And I don't see the bigger picture. I failed her hardcore. And that kills me inside to know that I did that to her. But when you're that depressed, you don't care about anything else. That's part of the reason why I started this channel because in July, when I started to do my 10,000 steps, part of the reason that was started was this channel was started because I wanted to vent. I use this channel as a diary and maybe someone out there is watching and can have a life lesson. We always wanted to help one people and apparently we got 50 something people on this channel now and we're growing guys and we're gonna get there I know it I can feel it and I took this whole relationship slash marriage for granted because I literally thought that we were a rock like I didn't think that you know like the whole power couple thing as much as I hated her and hated how she treated me like I would have done anything for her and that's the sucky part because at the end of the day all you have is love there's not much in this world to build up she came to me in August no like the beginning of October-ish and said that she had found feelings for someone else Mind you, I'm really depressed in this state of mind already. Like, I wanted to end my life like six freaking times before she even told me. But I kept the stuff inside, guys. I didn't talk about it. And that's, that's where I went wrong. I just went through life thinking everything was gravy. <clears throat> but inside, I was dying. And I don't want no sympathy from anyone. I don't need that. I really don't. I'm not making this video for sympathy. I'm not trying to get attention. I'm just trying to show you guys how fragile this thing called life is. How fragile relationships are. And I want someone to learn from my lesson not to take them for granted. If you guys remember a few months ago, I made a video in a hotel. That was probably about the time this whole stuff started. I never was upfront and honest. I never told anyone what was going on and everyone started sending me messages and asking me if I was okay. And it was tough. It really was. And my ended up, I mean, this whole thing put me in a psych ward. Like, cause I just couldn't mentally deal with it. And she stepped out on my marriage. I mean, with a girl online, once again, not naming names. I just think that things could have been in a different way. And maybe if we communicated better, we didn't have very much communication. Maybe things would be different today. And I ended up to the point of where I was so depressed I couldn't deal with life. I was becoming very angry and hostile. I did some things I'm not proud of. And I, if you're watching this, I severely apologize to anyone during that time frame that knows this situation that it affected because I don't want to hurt anybody. So I ended up going to a psych ward which led to the video of me posting that video with the letter. Closed one chapter of my life and to this day I feel like I've accepted that and I've closed that book which is probably a good thing. And here we are sitting here, end of February, February 28th, about to roll into March. <clears throat> Asking myself what the next step is, because I don't, I don't know. She was all I known for 10 years. The other day, found out she was with someone else again. So now she's been with two people. It really sucks. <laughs> couldn't deal with it and I left and a few days ago I actually filed for divorce at the end of the day it should have been done a long time ago I love this girl so much I'm willing to let her go because it's not a good relationship it's not it's 
one of those things where you hate that you love somebody and you, and you don't want to let them go because they've been your world for 10 years. But you have to. But this whole thing has screwed me up. Like, I have severe trust issues now. Like, I'm so vulnerable that I don't even know where to start. And, that, and that's, it's, it's scary, guys. You know, I always ask God, take me where I'm needed because with my positive influential life, I have helped a lot of people and that's part of the reason we made this channel was to help a lot of people, you know, on a grander scale and for me to vent, you know, we promise the positive vibes will come back around here soon, as soon as I can get my head straight, you know, we're on the medication and we're, you know, but the fact that I got to start over again, frankly sucks. You know, someone once told me that I was the most resilient person they ever met. How someone can come from nothing and build something great. So, if my new wife is out there watching this video, wherever you may be, just know that it's going to take time. This is Phoenix Rising telling you rise up every single day. Live today in the moment because you're not promised tomorrow. That being said, I'm Phoenix Rising. <laughs>